It's February 2016, it's Doug here for Fifth Wall TV. It's been a really busy couple of weeks here in London. Everything's finally started to wake up after that Christmas break. And one of the biggest topics that everyone's talking about now is female representation in the art world. Let's go. At one point, I actually was sitting at dinner with a collector and uh, he was like, yeah, I don't collect art from women. Yeah, well, you know, you all have babies and then you stop making art. And I was like, oh, do we? Yay! Here's another guy to talk about feminism on the internet. That's just what the internet needs. Well, unfortunately, I can't do anything about me being a guy. I mean, I could do this dressed in my girlfriend's clothes and maybe that might work. There's enough narrow-minded guys on the internet talking about females and how women's rights should be and how women should act, so I really don't want to end up just being another one of these douches. Is radical feminism a refuge for fat, ugly women who can't attract high-value men? You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account Only has Rosie several... O'Donnell. It hurts me to see girls being the worst version of them of them themselves the fattest the ugliest the attitude they act like a Last week in London, in the Saatchi Gallery, they opened up their first ever exhibition which was fully representative of female artists. Now this is a great chance to open up the conversation about the role of women in art, where they are, where they feel that they are, the progress that's being made, the progress that's not being made. Now rather than me being a guy who's not even an artist sitting here telling you about how women are in art, what I did was I figured it would be better to hear it from the artist. So I went up to the Saatchi last week to check out some of the artists exhibiting with XX A Moment In Time. I don't know if I want to talk to you, you know. I'm not sure what happens with like women around the world, but women are really look lately in the world, like they're all in business, all everywhere, like in art and music. So it kind of became like super like big band time for women. It's strange, but cool, like. Why do you think it's taken the Saatchi Gallery 30 years to have a, f a show, an exhibition, which is fully represented by females? <sighs> because, I don't know, even in the street art, there are so many men. I live in Brazil and that is a pretty much place also, you know, Argentina too. It's like a, the old kind of old school thought, you know, that the woman is not able to do the same than the men. But, well, we paint the walls, <laughs> we climb some stuff, we don't have a frame. So many things that even the men have afraid. My whole life I feel like a lot of times people say shit like, oh that's good for a girl and stuff like that, and that shit really pisses me off. It's not that there's more uh, male artists, it's just that there's more male artists that I well know. When I first started, one of the first questions before to let me paint a wall was, are you alone? I mean, can you really do it? It's three, four floors, are you sure? And when you are doing it by free hand on a lift with no help, no assistance, no, nothing fancy, somebody is passing by, it's so, oh, that's beautiful. So the man I was just here, he's my friend, not to me. Like, just being a female student artist, like, the amount of times that like while you're painting a wall that people just pass by and just like congratulate the guy who's closest to the wall saying nice work even though it's like girls or, or boys like they just assume that women like we girls can't do that. I think my work is really feminine and a guy couldn't, couldn't do it basically and I think even in graffiti uh, it needs some some femininity, some sensitivity that we have that, um, that the guys don't have. I like, I like to be a minority in a way, because I think it makes it more special. There are fewer women doing it than men, and so for me it's something where I kind of am like a cheerleader for the ladies, right? So I'm like, come on ladies, we can do this, and um, any woman that thinks that they can't, or you know, oh, it's kind of a dude's world, like, like that, you can do it if you want to. I'm more afraid that in a city full of camera and completely white than in a city full of thugs. One time this dude came up while I was pasting on the street and wanted to chop off my feet. 
I'm for the freedom of expression. And the freedom of expression is not only about graffiti, it's about the history of humanity. If you go to the Colosseum in Rome, you will see the signature of the people who are watching the, the game. So what happens when you take the role of a woman as a subject, which is glamorized and sexualized, and start changing that, start playing with it? Once I was painting a gate illegally, and uh, someone grabbed my arm and turned me around, and it turned out to be an undercover cop, and he was like, oh, you're a woman? Like, what? And I was like, yes, I know. <laughs> and then he was like, why are you doing this? Like, this is for dudes, and it's grimy, and it's dirty. Like, you're beautiful. What are you doing on this street? out here at this hour and painting and I was just like come on dude like really so we were painting in San Pablo with two friends and the police pretty brutal and the thing like I was like uh, in, in winter and I had big clothes and everything so they could not de define if I was a woman or not so they arrived to us like two cars of police they get out of the car completely like and put a lot of gun in our face and say hands to the air, look it back, and, and then like uh, I did like this. Of course, yes, I have one gun, two guns, and my friends, I know that. But when they saw it, that I was a woman, a, a few of them like, okay, you know, I know that it's sexist, but I was good that I was a female, so they put the gun down, but also was super sexy. If I, I was a woman, for sure they're gonna kill me. <laughs> There has to be continued representation from female artists across the board. It doesn't work if the only way girls get a chance to be seen is by all female shows. There needs to be more of a balance. The world is changing. I'm not even... It's like, it's meaningful that the last decade is the decade of the woman in Latin, in Latin America, the president woman, you know, all over. I think a little by little it is after fighting the woman for the right, I think that the right is coming along because of this movement and also like all these other girls, we're doing it, you know, we're doing that, all the stuff that people when we're like being raised up saying that we couldn't or we shouldn't because it's dangerous, because we're weak, because we're like so fragile women and stuff like that. So I'm happy that we like, you know, can prove that they were wrong. Hopefully, as this momentum starts to grow, we're gonna see more of a balance and that's what it needs. If you wanna check out the show for yourself, head down to the Saatchi. I'm gonna put links at the bottom of this. Other than that, I've been Doug for Fifth Wall TV. I hope to see you guys really shortly. Take care.